Well guys, we are back in another video here and this video is going to be kind of like a part two to my previous video on how to get a good team in NHL 22 fast, all right? So uh, right now, I feel like it's actually getting easier to get a team fast, so hope you guys do enjoy the video. If you do, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new here. Uh, but yeah, I'm really excited to get into it. So we're actually on the verge of a new event coming out as well in NHL 22 Hut, which is really going to be a big way to improve your team as well, all right? So here's how it works, right? So what's the first step to improving your team, all right? So let's just say you're kind of new to the game. I've seen some people, you know, new to the channel, you know, new to the game recently. And and honestly, a great way to really get yourself started uh, is going to be over the objective tab and over here at the style icon card, all right? So obviously I've done that a very long time ago, very long time ago, but it is still very, very good, this card. 94 overall, if you're just getting the game going, it can take a little bit of a while for sure, but completely worth it. 94 rated card would easily be your best card for probably a while. So definitely, I would say the 94 overall card should be the first card you chase if you're trying to get a good team quick. It's really not that hard. I actually have a video as well on YouTube on how to get this 94 overall the quickest. So uh, it's really not as bad as it might seem. So I would definitely go for it. All right. So uh, there you go when it comes to the objectives. All right. So moving on to the next thing. And uh, the next thing really uh, is going to be squad battles. Squad battles is pretty underrated. I'm not going to lie. Squad battles is still very, very good and, and important to do in my opinion. So uh, it really doesn't you know, take too much as well uh, to get some pretty decent rewards. I wish I could see the previous week of squad battles, but like I said, you don't really need to even get that high of a tier to get pretty solid packs. Like, you don't need to get top 20 for it to be, like, you know, rewarded. You know, it, it's still very good to get even Elite 3. Elite 3 is not bad. Uh, you get a player pack, couple player packs, uh, jump a premium pack, and 14k, and that's solid coins. Cards are so valuable, especially right now because a lot of cards are not going for a lot at all. So for someone that's just trying to get a really good team at Hut, it's great. Right now it's great because the market's really low. So it's going to be awesome for you guys to be able to just buy the cards that you want. You know, and that's, that's really the good thing about later in the year in Hut always. All right, then, like I said, even Pro 1's not bad. Honestly, I, I'd even say Pro 1 could be potentially better than Elite 3. But, I mean, obviously less coins. But I might like the packs a little bit more. I'm not going to lie. So, uh, Squad Battles is a very, very solid way uh, to get your get your team going. And th the best part about this is they're all tradable rewards as well. So, certainly would definitely consider that. All right. Uh, next up, uh, the one I really want to bring up is a very interesting one, actually. It's going to be uh, X-Factor cards, all right? So, uh, the thing is, right, so... X Factor cards right now in the market, they really don't go for much at all. But the one thing I will say is about X Factor cards is you can get them to a decent overall before you start worrying about really paying a lot. So, uh, for instance, right? So let's just say you want Stamkos, right? So Stamkos goes for you know quite a bit still, I think, uh, his X Factor card just because uh, you know he he's a he's one of the better ones. He's 99 overall, right? But uh, for example, like Kopitar, right? Kopitar is still really really good. So he's was he at 94 overall right now? Yeah. So you can get him up. To, uh, to at least, I would say at least probably 80, 86, which without really any struggles, which is definitely solid. You know, 86 is, you know, it's a decent start. You know, obviously you want to be higher, but the best way to get it higher is I'll show you this as well. So uh, really the best way to upgrade your X Factor cards and your team in general, it's going to be HUD champs, all right? So why do I feel that way? Well, HUD champs can be scary right now, especially with a lower end team like you guys, you know, might be having. But uh, you don't really need to win too many games to start getting collectibles, all right? So let's go over to, uh, let's just say you can get seven wins. Say you go seven and 13 in Hut Champs. You're still getting, uh, you're still getting three Hut Champ collectibles, but you can use those Hut Champ collectibles for what, you might be asking? You can use that to trade those collectibles in over here in the Hut Champ section, and you can end up trading those in for power up collectibles all right so uh, and you can only you can trade one per there's no cooldown on these so uh, i think it's very very good uh, to do that i think it's probably the most beneficial thing you can do with your hot champ collectibles if you're trying to get a stack team quick uh that that's what i think for sure so uh yeah x factors can be decent for sure but i wouldn't have too many on my team either all right uh next up the next thing i was talking about definitely uh, is, is going to be Rivals, all right? So Rivals, to me, is the best reward in the game, uh, especially now. It does not take that much to get a pretty good tier. So I'm in Division 1, obviously the highest of the high, 
And looking at last week, it did not take a lot of points at all to get a pretty good tier. So that's something very, very interesting to me and uh, makes me really want to play more because I know I don't have to grind as much to get really good packs, right? So Platinum was only 10,000 and that's for you get mega, mega packs and ultimate packs for that, which is pretty absurd. So, and even Diamond's not bad, Ultimate's not bad either. So uh, definitely I'm going to consider grinding uh, these modes out more. I mean, and... And I don't know, it's exciting. It really is exciting because uh, there's more of a chance to get, you know, good pulls as well. Uh, and, and honestly, another thing I was going to say is really make sure to grind rivals. What I would recommend doing is taking the untradeable packs because, because you're trying to get good cards quick, right? You're not trying to, you know, take your time and take tradable and be smart and be careful. The reason why I say don't take untradeable is look at this, guys. Look at the hub cur currently. Look at this. Look at all these cards that are out. Look at these at 90 pluses, 88s to 99, 90, 91. Look at how many cards are currently out. This whole team of the week is 90 plus. Uh, you have uh, also these cards, all 95s. You have 98 Ovechkin. You have 99 Crosby. You have all these MSP cards. You have all these Stanley Cup cards that can go up in overall. So, uh... All I'm saying is, guys, basically, is is it's a great time to play Rivals, take your untradeable packs, and you're probably going to pull some at least 86, 87 guys. I mean, like, the minimum, because there's really so many cards out right now, so many decent cards. So, like, just so many cards, actually, if you think about it. So, definitely would be a good time to do that. So, yeah, Rivals is always a solid option, so definitely do that. Uh, you don't even really need to get the craziest rewards, so definitely would recommend that. Hut Champs, I mentioned already for the collectibles. Hut Champs, you don't really get the best rewards besides the collectibles, but still worth playing, at least in my eyes. All right, uh, next thing that you could do uh, to me, you know, to get a better team, is uh, you can also always just try to work on completing the current objective out right now. So, like the Stanley Cup one, right? So, getting these. Uh, the Stanley Cup collectible, Stanley Cup collectible, Stanley Cup collectible, Stanley Cup collectible, Stanley Cup collectible. So you get a bunch of those, right? Uh, and, and you can really start, you know, making your way towards making a master set item. All right. So let's just say you want uh, one of the master set cards. So uh, I don't know, for example, uh, you want Drew Doughty, right? So you, you've did all those objectives, trade the seven in, and you got an 86 overall Drew Doughty. You go at your own pace. Uh, Dally's a solid card, and uh, once you get a max out, you'll be really reaping the rewards. So, uh, Drew Doughty, uh, I, I think, uh, is a really awesome card. So, and uh, definitely, I would consider doing that method as well. Getting 86 overall, guys, to kind of fill out your team, especially, you know, try to, you know, bridge the gap from like your 83s, 84s if you're having, you know, a low, lower quality team. And again, this is a really good video because I know NHL 22 uh, uh, comes out on EA, EA Play really soon for free in a week. So definitely if you guys are, you know, new and, and trying to figure out how to get a good team, this is going to be a, definitely a good way, you know, to, to learn. Um, I, I don't really view hut challenges to be a very viable way here to get better cars and a better team. Just, I really don't. There's really not much to hut challenges, unfortunately. So definitely wouldn't look too far into that. Uh, the next thing is, I mean, this it would work more earlier in the year, but, uh, working the market, I mean, it's, it's certainly possible, but uh, there's definitely not as many cards on the marketplace currently. So, you know, what the, what the best way to do is, is to do this always. Uh, with the amount of coins you have, so I put the buy down maximum at 378,000, right? So I would do that, and then I would, I would, you know, search other ranges. So I'd put like, I don't know, 5k for example, all right? They go all the way to the 59th minute here, and pretty much just kind of grind the market. But unfortunately, Xbox Series X is definitely not too hot. So, uh, you know, there's not many mar cards going up on the market to try to work it, but, uh, you know, you can place a bid, hit that, and then reload, and then cards will pop up. Uh, mainly, you know, on Xbox uh, One or PS4, but let's be honest. But, yeah, that's pretty much the best ways to make, uh, you know, coins and, and, and really the best way to get a good team fairly fast, all right? So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like. Subscribe to the channel here. Follow me on Twitch, Henrik, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Henrik at 3Es. Enjoy Discord. Talk to me, followers, and subscribers to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video.